On behalf of everybody at Nutrition Innovation, a special congratulations to everybody at the East Waitini Sugar Association on the launch of NuCane, a new innovation for the region and a new innovation for the world. We're very excited to have partnered with all of you to bring this innovation to the market. NuCane Low GI Sugar is a unique specification of raw sugar that is high in polyphenols that are low in reducing sugars and is consistently produced to be a healthier choice for everybody in the market. The specification of New Cane Low GI Sugar has been invented by our founder, Dr. David Kinnar, and I've asked him to share a few words about why this innovation is so unique, why is it so special, and why it's a great choice for your customers. So while working as a professor in nutrition, uh, it became clear that there's, a, um, uh, there's an issue, there's a lack of choice uh, in this area of unrefined carbohydrates. There's fibers, of course, but specifically with respect to sugar, uh, there's white refined sugar. And in fact, actually talking to industry, it became quite apparent that there was no choice that the industry had for an unrefined carbohydrate with sugar. And if they did, uh, then they, it was, wasn't consistent. There's brown sugars around, but not for industrial customers that require uh, consistency, uh, reproducibility, and particularly reproducibility everywhere in the world. And so that became uh, pretty much the mission of uh, Nutrition Innovation, to be able to provide a consistent, healthier, better choice, uh, a, better, a, a more broader uh, available product so that uh, industry had a choice. So the glycemic index is just a measure, a clinical measure of response to any carbohydrate. Uh, in this instance, that's focused on sugar, but it's the amount of blood glucose that's actually absorbed into the body so that the body must metabolize sugar, which is a disaccharide, and then breaks it down to monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. And the glycemic response is a measure of the blood glucose level. And then it's a spike that goes up that we measure over about 120 minutes. Originally it had genesis in um, diabetes, gestational diabetes, but now it's actually used as more a, a measure for um, glycemic response in, in healthy individuals. So low glycemic diets have been found universally now to be able to help prevent diabetes, of course, because you're getting less of an insulin spike following the high glycemic food. But it's also helping with heart disease, uh, obesity, and other long-term chronic health issues. There's more and more evidence that's been published uh, about the benefits of a low glycemic diet. So pure glucose has a glycemic response of about 100. And so individuals take that as a, a, a standard, and then that becomes 100 for them. Then they take white refined sugar, which based on that scale of zero to 100 is around about 65 through to 68, depending upon the individual. And then the low GI sugars uh, typically sit around about the 53 uh, range, 52 to 53, uh, sometimes a bit lower, sometimes marginally higher, but they're consistently below 55, which is counted as low glycemic. Uh, there are other low glycemic uh, sugars and sweeteners, I should say, um, available. The problem with them, uh, great tasting products, but the scalability of um, niche products like coconut sugar, for example, is just not there. Sugar is one of the largest crops in the world. Uh, it's been produced as a commodity, is available in significant um, uh, quantities, but nobody had, had actually taken the step to be able to provide the industry with technology to be able to provide a lower glycemic sugar, consistently lower glycemic sugar. In fact, in the early 2000s, it was an understanding some of the less processed compounds that are actually in sugarcane that actually reduced the glycemic response. But there hadn't been any work uh, to actually had, analyze them and then in an industrial scale, be able to, uh, to, uh, to then uh, measure them and then retain them in the sugar in a consistent manner. And so uh, by doing that, those compounds actually then uh, reduced the glycemic response of the sugar. So our task was to actually develop the technology to be able to provide to the industry in a scalable fashion, a solution that would then uh, be able to produce a, a consistent sugar. Now, how these phytochemicals work, polyphenols, 
there's some there's some uh, quite a number of them that are naturally occurring in sugarcane. Uh, the, the technology that's developed actually retains those sugarcane polyphenols, and they in turn actually slow the metabolism of the disaccharide into the monosaccharides, so sucrose into glucose and fructose, so slows that metabolism, and also the transport of the glucose across the apical membrane in the gut to be able to then lower the glycemic response, the blood glycemic response in us as individuals. So there are a number of patents behind the technology, the Nucane technology. There's a closed loop patent that's actually an engineering patent, and that is allowing the architecture to be plugged together in a way that is novel and inventive, of course. There's also the composition of matter. Um, while there might be uh, very high pulse sugars or direct consumption sugars produced, but none of them have been historically produced to this particular standard that provides, or a reproducible standard that provides a consistently lower glycemic product. David has explained some of the science that sits behind the Nucane specification. The technology that has been installed at Ubumbo leverages upon two things, near-infrared scanning from world leaders FOSS and processing control systems from Schneider Electric. Together, they not only help make the Nucane low GI sugar more efficiently at Ubumbo, but in fact, it also helps create more efficiency across the entire line of production by giving greater processing control over key areas like Akumza, moisture, reducing sugars, and of course the polyphenols which help make the low GI sugar. This Nucane technology is a first of its kind within Africa, and we're very proud and very excited to work with leaders such as the Eswatini Sugar Association to bring this innovation to the market to allow yourselves and your customers benefit from these new innovations. Nucane Low GI Sugar has been successfully launched in other markets around the world, most notably in Australia and New Zealand where it was first launched in 2019 and widely available in retail stores and consumer products. Additionally, it's been launched in markets like Malaysia where it's achieved 60% retail share in the brown segment and it taps into the fast growing DC raw segment which is booming around the world and growing at over 6% globally. And together with the Eswatini Sugar Association, we're uniquely poised to capitalize on that growth by offering the new cane low GI specification to the market, not only within East Vitini, but also within the Saku region, and of course, with exports to Europe and beyond. New cane low GI sugar has been awarded all around the world. In fact, just last year, New Cane Low GI Sugar was singled out by the United Nations as being one of the top 50 small businesses in the world bringing change to food systems everywhere. We're very proud of that innovation because not only can we bring healthier choices to the market, but we can give affordable carbohydrate choices to everybody. As a summary, there are key benefits to the New Cane technology that has been embraced by the Swatini Sugar Association. Firstly, yes, it's low GI, so it's a healthier choice. But it is a DC raw sugar, less processed, more natural. There are no GMOs, no additives. It uses the natural bioactive ingredients in the sugarcane crop to perform its functions. It's an industrial specification, so perfect for customers and consumers. And lastly, it's produced at high scale with high efficiency by the East Swatini Sugar Association to make it affordable and accessible to everybody within the region. So a big thank you to the entire East Vitini uh, Sugar Association team. Uh, we've enjoyed working with Dr. Phil, uh, with Sharon and with Walter right from the beginning uh, and also the, the senior management at the Mbombo Mill uh, for, their, uh, for the entire group, for their leadership, um, but particularly the East Vitini team for their global understanding of the sugar industry, the needs for the future and embracing our crazy technology and taking this into the world. We're very grateful for that. We wish you very, very well. I hope that this is a success and look forward to the ongoing relationship with the entire team. So best wishes.